I don't know. We, oh, we, we've we been here an hour, and, and we haven't gotten very All right, so. open locks there. All right. Just see what happens. Did that roll? I don't see anything. Uh, that roll to yeah, me. 58. Is that okay, below your yeah, score? You, uh... It is, but uh, it's a penalty on it, though. Uh, you just... you try uh, various combinations for quite a while, and uh, you can't figure out what the uh, uh, combination is. Every time you think that you've just about got it, it resets itself. I've got spells I've got about I've used. Oh, I'll In just the use spell on the other one. You're gonna, okay. You're gonna well, no, well, I'm not going to do it now. I'll have to rest and prepare a spell for the other one. The dark spell? No, not the knock spell. It's going to be... Uh, what's the one that gives me plus 15%? It's my roll. Uh, oh, that's something. But, you know, that's what I would do. I'd be using that. I won't do it now. I failed this one. That's all I can do. Okay, so this was a small one. You can, do the you can still do the large one later. And mm -hmm. I will say that if you get one of them, I will get. Uh, I will allow you a uh, another chance with the other one uh, at a reduced penalty. Uh, since mm -hmm. uh, I was going to use call upon faith, that's what I okay. forgot about. Um, Not now, obviously. I need spells. For that fight. Since yeah. if you figure out the 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 combination to one of them, uh, th you might know more to help you with the other one. So, if you succeed with the, the second one, uh, I'll give you another chance with the first one again. Mm hmm Okay, so that's it for that. Um, we'll go ahead and move into the uh, tile with the uh, your destination. Okay. I, I toss uh, Leva one of the new slings. Hang on, let's get the, let's get the crew to make the ship dark before we get too close. Okay. Sort of thing. Sure. So are they normal slings uh, or are they special slings? They had, uh, we don't know. In terms of normal slings, are good quality or, or special slings? They don't have they any modifiers, nice. but they are well made. Okay. How many of them are there? Four. Okay. Because we know we go through slings quite quickly. Company of the broken sling. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Whatever so breaks the most. You uh, you put out the the lights. You cover up the. Uh, um, well, did you have any that you made continual light? Yeah, there was two. There was one in the helm room and one in our little dining room thing. That's uh, that's not on the map you've got on. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's uh, fine. On um, the thing yet. All right, you you cover them up. Yeah, I keep forgetting to uh, merge the. We need to hack together. that. Um. You uh, you cover up the lights. You put out um, you know the the torches, candles, lanterns, everything else, uh, anything else that you got going on. So you're kind of running dark. Um, the navigator uh, tells you that that indicates that you're in the right area. Uh, however, there appear to be um, about half a dozen uh, asteroids in fairly close proximity. Um, and I'm going to need to roll a navigation check to see if the uh, navigator can narrow it down a bit. So give me just a second. He should have a pretty decent navigation skill because he's a freaking marine. Yeah, but he wasn't expecting a cluster. It's quite clever of them to, to let it put their lair in a cluster. He still rules the proficiencies, depending on what his natural stats are. Okay. Well, he may have also devoted multiple slots to it. Alright. Um, most of these are uh, fairly plain uh, asteroids. Uh, they're fairly small. Um, all of them are substantially smaller than um, Brawl itself. Um... None of them really have much in the way of vegetation. Uh, there aren't, any, you know, there there aren't groves of trees. Uh, it's mostly limited to uh, very light scrub grass at the on, on the best uh, side and mosses and lichens on the worst side, uh, with a couple that appear to be just completely barren. Um, 
it's going to take a little bit of time to uh, move about here. Uh, you know, like, kind of looking um, looking over. You don't see any obvious settlements on any of them uh, yeah. from the distance. Does it, do they have a single air envelope, or is it... Are they? No, they're all individual. Apart? They're They're far enough apart. They're all basically, I mean, at least, like, um, within about a, a, an hour travel of each other. But, right. um, you know, so it's not like they, uh, they they form a single unit, so to speak. They're just six in close proximity, give or take. And um, are any of you going to be the ones on watch, or did you have a... Uh, one of the crew members be on watch. I remember I was on second watch, so I wouldn't be on this one. Okay. I was on first watch, I believe. Okay, what is your uh, wisdom score? Uh, 15. That's pretty good. Okay, I rolled a natural one. Uh, you see on one of these, it's one of the farther ones, um, there's a camp of some sort. Uh, uh, you, you see some small vessels, they're, they're reminiscent of, uh, large rowboats, and, uh, some large tents and lean-tos, and you see some figures, uh, moving about on them. I'm uh, gonna go get the others and tell them about the camp. Okay. There's no uh, um, no large vessels. These are all, you know, the, the vessels uh, there are pretty small. Um, like I said, they're reminiscent of rowboats. Guys, guys, I think I found the camp. I'm going to bring him over to the side if you haven't pointed out what I saw. Okay. All right. Uh, at, at, at this point, uh, I'm going to say that everyone uh, has had uh, at least... You know, barely enough rest, so everyone is awake right now. Um, you know, you you prepared to be you know ready for this point. Um, mm -hmm. You do you did get a whole point of damage repaired on the ship, so you can bump yourself up right to sixteen. Um, and Higamus, do you you have a a spyglass, right? Correct. Okay. Um, you can go ahead and uh, use that to. Try to get a closer view. All right. I actually probably should have uh, gotten a picture ready for you guys. Hold on. But yeah, I found it. Uh, I don't see the big ship uh, dock there, so it may already be out. Maybe. Or there may be more than one base together. Mm-hmm. Anyway, we'll right. probably find out once we go down there and fight those guys. All right, hold on a second. Let me just get a uh, an image ready for you. Um, is it Norferic that's on the helm at the moment? Yes. Nor is on and the helm. Both. You've got about uh, six hours. Well, probably at this point, about five hours left on his 12-hour shift. And me and Lava are both rested. Yes. Can, can we sneak around and come up on that uh, camp from the back well, so me, that they can't see us. Let me, uh, let me get you an image first. Hold on a second. I just need to... Mm -hmm. How hard are people? Before we try to sneak up on the camp, we should try and spot the big ship. I'm at uh, 17 out of 25. Did you have any healing spells left over, Laftal? No. I used everything apart from my I'm powers. I'm at 17 out of 32. Out of my, if I haven't changed my spells, I've got two cure lights, one cure moderate. Well, I'm I'm down to seventeen out of twenty five. Braxton's hurt a lot worse. He's at seventeen out of thirty two, right? You've, I have yeah. fifteen out of twenty six. So Braxton and Yeldon, I'll, I'll give a cure light wounds to. Then the. I'm going to save my lay on hands for when I really need yeah, it. Yeah, I'm saving my cure of moderate in case someone really... Did uh, you use I'm... a uh, uh, lay on hands uh, during the battle, Ocker? Yeah, but we should be rested now, so I should have that back. Right. I just want... Uh, if, if you hadn't used it, uh, I couldn't remember if you did or not. Um, I did. Okay. All right. Never mind then. 
charge roof. This will be um. Yeah, done. Yeah, you can go ahead and. All right, Yeldon, get six set points. Is that Braxton? Was he the one? Uh, I... sorry. Uh, Bra how much hit points you got, Braxton? You were the second uh, most injured. Got seventeen out of thirty-two. Oh, all right. I'll use cure moderate on you, actually. No, just keep one cure like wins back. Yeah, I can do six hit points of healing now since I'm at level three. Oh, plus one as well. So Braxton gets nine hit points. Yeah. Three, two, six. Okay, so... Um, did, did we get any from resting? Or well, we didn't have a proper rest, did we? Uh, you didn't have a proper rest, not long enough. Yeah. It's like do I have fairy fire back? Yeah, everything, everything, uh, uh, all of you. Yeah, it, it's essentially a I, new day. So, um, how do spells. powers work? They're every eight hours, or they're well, no, they're um, they're every day. So, so oh. theoretically, you could use it at you know eleven. You could use one at eleven fifty nine and then use it at twelve. But I would probably say yeah at that, just because it, it it's easier to just say it a a day and say all right for the. Gameplay purposes, this is a new day. Mm. Yeah, so okay. it's not a big deal. All right, so uh, Higamus, what you see are creatures that look like this. Oh, -ho! what are those? <laughs> Does Braxton know? <laughs> um, Higamus, are you gonna hand your uh, spyglass over to Braxton and let him take a look? Yeah. Uh, I don't know what these things are. Do you know what they are, uh, Braxton? Um, Braxton, you take a look, and you do recognize them as rock hoppers. Yeah. Um, they're a small humanoid race that makes their lives traveling from uh, asteroid to asteroid. Um, they tend to camp about, and then uh, they'll go do some trading with uh, um, the local... Uh, yeah farming groups they do a think... little bit of mining um nothing you know nowhere near as uh in depth as dwarves they kind of like you know just do kind of uh surface scrapings uh and they use a lot of that for for trade they also do some um uh leather working with uh scaver hides and things like that and kindori i'm not sure the rock hoppers are going to be our pirates well it's the only camp i saw yeah I, I'm thinking the rock hoppers might be native to this cluster, and there might be a ship living amongst them somewhere. Hmm. Or that the or the pirates are somewhere else in the in the cluster. Yeah, that's what I mean. We should uh, just talk to them. We could talk to see... them. They might tell us. They might tell us where um where the pirates are living. Are they or a they might species? be working with them. Um... Yeah, they're, they're, um, Braxton uh, can tell the rest of you that, uh, to his knowledge, they've, there's never really been a report of uh, rockhoppers being terribly hostile, um, you know, beyond, you know, occasional misunderstandings and things like that. They, uh, they're fairly peaceable creatures. What language? What languages do they speak? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh... They, I'm not doing this with them. Chances are uh, the the leader. I mean, you know, in, in his experience, um, there's been a, you know a spokesperson at least one uh, in any group that's uh, visited his his asteroid. Would you okay. guys like to go talk to him or what? They might yeah. be working for the pirates, though. Just saying. They might be. They might not. We don't know. Are they? I say. Th I say we just keep looking. We don't talk to them because they might be working for the pirates, and we want to keep our event. We want to try to keep our surprise. Uh, Braxton, do they actually work for people, or do they are they independent and and just trade with them? They're kind of like gypsies, from what I recall. So, so it, I mean, the the other possibility is if these 
these pirates are unpleasant types and they might have sort of thrown their dominance on them and got them to work for them. But uh, if that's the case, uh, we'd be liberating them. I'll take another quick glance around at their camp. Is there anything, anybody else there? Or... You don't see any other creatures. Um, uh, it looks like right now they are... Uh, tanning some uh, scaver hides, uh, cooking some meat, drying some meat. Um, you know, mostly handling um, perhaps a recent catch of uh, scavers and other stellar fish. I actually think Hilton is right. We should uh, land out of sight and walk towards him. No, I was actually saying to keep searching around, not land, to, not land yet, because we they we know we don't know we don't know where the pirates are, but the pirates, so we could accidentally stumble upon them while the, our ship while we're not there or something like that, or discover us before we discover them. Well, these rock hoppers live here, and if they're not with the pirates, they would definitely have seen the pirate ship flying in and out, and they could give us an exact location. Mm-hmm. True. Would they so charge it, for that? It, but that doesn't Do we make have the... anything to trade for the information that they would uh, they would take? Uh, and it doesn't mean that we have to land on, on, on their main marketing place. We can still land at uh, out of sight and and just walk into the into the village or whatever they have. Mm -hmm. We'll obviously have to be careful not to look like uh, we're too hostile, but also we need to look like we can handle ourselves. So uh, we're going to go talk to these people, but uh, do we want to? land outside or do you want them to see us coming so we're not alarming them which do you guys prefer probably land somewhere where they can see but not necessarily anybody else can see yeah that's an idea and not on top of them either because that would seem too aggressive i would think yeah um how close are they to the edge where the gravity plane is uh, they're basically um, uh, fairly close to the edge. Uh, their their tents are uh, a little bit back. Um, the the small boats are you know right on the edge, um, but they seem you know light enough that they could just lift them up and you know with a bunch of them lift them up and carry them and put them out you know put it out onto the gravity plane kind of thing. Mm. We should right. maybe come in. Where their port is. All right. Higimus, did they did they look like they had uh, people looking out, like uh, with spy glasses or stuff? Uh, from what I was able to see, it looked like they're just tending to probably what looked like to be a uh, recent catch of scavers. It's a shame we didn't bring that food. And Sorry. Food and stuff like that. I mean, you got food of your own too. Mm. Well, I'm just wondering what do the what do these people like to trade for? Food and leather, spoiler that they look yeah. nomadic, so furs, rare space stuff. <laughs> well, let's let's land uh, a bit outside the dwelling in that case. All right, yeah, let's land at their port area. Uh, is there flags or something like that we could fly? Um, you can fly, uh, I mean, you can just fly a white flag, and it's yeah. kind of a universal sign of, uh, no hostile intent. Let's fly a white flag and get our, uh, get our, uh, crew to, to wave, the ones yeah. that aren't doing stuff. Now, yeah. there's wave. no actual docks, so you'll probably want to actually put down on top of the asteroid itself, as opposed to, like, try to pull in along the gravity plane. Okay. Let's we'll do it, it in the, a non-threatening manner as possible. Okay. Not screw up being anything of theirs. Um, you, as you bring your uh, uh, wasp in close, uh, you know, coming in fairly slowly. Um, oh, real quick. Yep. 
have somebody continue to watch out just in case. Okay. Um, you uh, you come in uh, fairly slowly. Uh, you definitely surprise them. Um, at a guess, it seems that uh, they probably don't see too many people come to their this little asteroid. Um, and uh, you see a number of them, you know, scramble to the tents and uh, pull out spears and short swords. Uh, more to be ready than in a threatening manner or anything like that. Um, you know, not knowing exactly who you are. Um, I'll go to the edge of the ship and shout out, Oh, hey there! <laughs> okay, um, they, uh, y you can see them talking amongst them, uh, uh, themselves. As you're, you're landing, you're uh, a little bit too far to, you know, hear what they're saying. Um, are you guys going to, you know, the party just going to get down off the ship and, and walk into the, the camp kind of thing? Yeah, no, I, I I think we should keep the ship ready to take off at the moment's notice. Well, we, Nor is we on can... the the helm, so it, it's okay. ready. Can... To be, it's ready to go at. at you know, we should approach like if we're on the Astro, we sat down, we go down as a party off the ship, we go towards them slightly, then we send one person off as the spoke person, and we go partially towards them so they get the idea to send one person to us. So, can we you know. Like That's first it. contact, so to speak. Can we uh, walk down the tail of the wasp, or do we have to go down the ropes? Um, there's basically there's you you just put a rope ladder over the side. Okay. Well, in the, that the case, tail correct. is probably a little bit steep for that, and I don't think it would actually rest on the ground. Fair enough. Okay, Braxton throws down the rope ladder then and climbs down. Yeah, Indeed. I think. Approach as a party is fine. Okay, were well, you going to do the... Just not cross the gap all the way, just approach to a certain distance and then stop and wait for them to come to Yeah, we, we send one person out. They send one person to us, hopefully. Uh, Ocker, would you like to uh, be the spokesperson? I've got this. Okay. Alright, so the rest of you, the five of you, are going to stand back and Ocker's going to go forward. Um... You're, it it kind of slopes down to a little flat area where all the tents are. Uh, you can see that there's clearly nothing permanent here. Um, they're fairly elaborate tents, large tents, but uh, uh, you would guess that they could probably take them down, um, you know, in short order. Uh, 15, 20 minutes maybe uh, to get them all taken down and quickly wrapped up, you know, if something were, were to happen. Um as you are walking towards them, uh, Ocker, uh, a group of four uh, leaves the, the camp and uh, kind of rushes towards you, um, you know, not, not like in a threatening manner, but uh, a mixture of curiosity and concern. Um, you can see that uh, one of them appears to be older, his uh, uh, hair and... Um, they 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 do remind you of owls to a degree, um, but they are they don't appear to be birds, uh, a, like actually birds. They don't have feathers. Um, they have fur. Um, one of them has uh, what appears to be kind of a graying beard, short beard, and you know the rest of his hair is uh, uh, going gray. Uh, probably at a guess, this is like the the tribal elder. Um, and maybe some of his uh, advisors or guards or something like that are coming with them. They're, where, they're, they're wielding short swords and spears for the most part. Okay. Good day, sirs. Uh, sorry about troubling your tribe, but we, we just wanted to stop and ask you some questions. We, we're looking for a group of pirates that supposedly have a base out here in this asteroid field. Uh, the elder cocks his head for a second and then uh, says some things to his uh, companions in a language that you don't recognize. Uh, and then there, there's a bit of a conversation between them and then turns back to you and says, uh, well, I don't know about pirates, but we have seen a ship. Uh, it looks like a giant scaver? Yes, yes, it, it, it does. Uh, it, it comes out of... Uh, 
the rock over yonder, and he points to one of the, uh, um, one of the asteroids that's, uh, a little bit distant, uh, it appears to be completely plain, um, you can see some, you know, moss and lichen on it, even from this distance, fairly large patches, but, uh, as I mentioned, there's no real, um, Uh, trees or anything like that. Um, for the most part, it looks like most of the other rocks I in this cluster. Uh, Does the rock open up to let out the scaver? Well, no, it actually comes through the rock, uh, which is very strange because there used to be an opening in there. We'd go in to get water there before, uh, but uh, then then they moved in and uh, we could not, could not do that anymore. They chased us off. Well, do not worry. We're here to hunt down that scaver and the pirates that are running it. Oh, well, we would most appreciate that. Uh, losing access to the water has been uh, very worrisome. Uh, we've actually been considering moving on to another cluster for some time now. Uh, you won't have to worry about that. We just have to find our way into that rock to to take out the ship and the crew. Have you, uh, have you seen that ship leave lately? Mm, I don't think so. Uh, we haven't been paying too much attention to it. Uh, we got a recent catch that we've been focusing on, and, uh, other, once they ran us off, we, uh, had no other dealings with them. Okay, th thank you for the information. Oh, I'm more than happy. Uh, you wouldn't happen to like any of our delicious scaver meat, would you? I guess I can buy a bit. <laughs> oh, that is wonderful. Uh, y do you have any tools? We uh, haven't been able to get uh, some new tools for quite a while, and we are running a little bit low. I will check with our supply in in the cargo hold of our ship. Oh, thank you. Thank Did you very you much. Are you happy to make some trades? Of course, sir. And, uh, Did we uh, pick up those tools now? <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to relay this back to the others, see if we have any tools in the cargo hold to give them for some scaver meat. I'm just doing it mainly what? as thanks for giving us the information we want. What type of tools do they want? Oh, yeah, what type of tools do you want? Um... Just about anything would do, uh, but uh, we could use some carpentry tools to make some repairs to our skiffs. Uh, but uh, if you have any pots, pans, knives, forks, that sort of thing, we'd be more than happy to make a trade for our delicious scaver meat. Did we not just pick up some? I don't know. Did we yeah, I, think we, I think we just picked up some. I think we just picked up quite a few tools from the from the ship. We just looted. <laughs> Did oh, you see, actually take them? I can't remember if you took them or not. No, I think people said they were going to pick them up later. But we can still uh, we can return with uh, with the stuff on the way back. We can pick it up and uh, and just bring it back to them. Yeah, I'll make a deal with them saying that I that there is a ship, a goblin ship that we took out that had tools in it. We'll get those tools and we'll make the trade when we're done with the scaver stuff. Oh, we would be uh, most happy to get some new tools. Thank you very much. No problem. Now, we're going to go take care of that scaver, I say, as I make my way back to the ship. Oh, Yep. Uh, how are we doing for the supplies that we took to repair the hull points? Is there more than enough left? Uh, you had uh, spare wood to repair five hull points, so now you have uh, four. That's what you had on the ship to begin with, and then there was two on the uh, um, the goblin ship. Yeah. So now you've so got. They have six total. Yeah, you've got you've got wood for six hull points worth of repairs. I'm just thinking if we got any spare wood, we could give to them. I guess we could give them at, like one hull points worth of wood. Sure. Yeah, we'll give yeah. that. Mm -hmm. Oh, if you if you're going to trade trade these, uh, then then you will get uh, uh, our most premium cuts. Indeed, yes, they are quite delicious. I, I think you will enjoy them very much. Thank you, sir. Yuck. And uh, you get uh, mm -hmm. some. Uh, there's some fresh 
steaks that need to be cooked and um, quite a bit of, uh, you know, dried and salted uh, <laughs> scaver meat as well. Not not to be like a, um, really it would add to your, your uh, food stores, uh, but you could make a nice meal out of them, uh, you know, within the next day. For, I for got a to dinner. Uh. <laughs> okay, now we're good. What uh, can we tell? What what color scaver this is? Because <laughs> this could be our last supper. Uh, it is the one that I can't recall. Uh, is said to be very very delicious. It's not brown. Right. Uh, Night scaver, I think it is. I think those are the ones that oh, are supposed to be really once... delicious. It was like a black type or something like that. Yeah, I think that's the night scaver. Um, I think the void scavers are are the bigger ones than that. It doesn't so, yeah, matter. They're, get... they're the ones that are really tasty. So but when today... I get back, I'm going to mention to the others about how I'm going to point to the editor and say, so it's been coming out of that. Uh, I I think they may have like some kind of medical image or something over the entranceway that used to be there that the tribe told me about. It sounds like um, if they've got a ship and they can make it look Do like a scabber. Do we have magic? No. I only memorize that one. We actively need it. I don't if, memorize it ahead of time. If they've got a ship and they can make it look like a scaver, and they can make a hole in a in a cave look like it's not there, they must have some sort of powerful illusionist with them. Actually, uh, I would like to ask them with how big that scaver is that they are hiding in the in the asteroid. Okay. Um... So while you're, you know, carting over the uh, the wood, uh, a couple of you can uh, ask some additional questions. Um, and in response to that, uh, he says, uh, "Oh, I, much larger than anything that uh, we've seen uh, before. Uh, many, many times larger than uh, void scavers. Uh, don't know exactly how big. We uh, did not get close once we were driven off." And they are magic aware species, sorry. I'm sorry? Uh, they... They have a... Um, there is a shaman in this group, but whether he has... Whether he actually has any magical ability or not, you don't know. Uh, I mean, they know of magic. He could just be a white doctor I, who I'm dances I around trying to get rain. Are you certain that this scaver is real? Or, or are there any signs whatsoever that it might actually be an illusion, like uh, uh, overlapping with the rocks or anything like that? Well, they mentioned they thought it was a ship already. They, they already mentioned it possibly being a ship when I first went out to talk to them. Uh, true, but I'm asking them now whether they are absolutely certain that it is a ship or whether they, that it might actually be at least partial, partly uh, uh, an, illu an illusion. Which would be shown because if you maneuver a ship, then you maneuver it differently if it's really big or if it's small and if it's just an illusion. Well, we've never heard of scavers working with intelligent creatures before, so we assumed it was a ship. And Yeldon, okay. you had a question uh, as well? Yeah, I was going to ask where exactly was the hole before it disappeared? Ah. I was waiting for someone to ask that. Uh, he's able to uh, point out uh, roughly uh, where it is. Uh, from where you're looking, it actually is um, kind of on the far side of the asteroid from where you are right now. Um, not entirely, so... Uh, you know, he gives you a, a brief description, and it seems reasonable to assume that... It, you know, if the sh if if it leaves straight out of that uh, asteroid, it's moving away from where you are right now. So, it, you know, if it had eyes in the front of its head, kind of thing, it would be looking away from you as it leaves. Mm-hmm. So you're kind of have we, have we already passed it? Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, okay. Yeah this w this was one of the farther uh, asteroids in the cluster. Cool. Do these guys have any night night scaver leather? 
they do, but they don't have any available for trade right now. Okay. They're using it for, you know, their own stuff. Yeah. Well, there, it, the space is situated inside of an asteroid. We may not be able to uh, sneak up on it. I think our only way to get to it is by going through the entrance, which is, like, in, hidden by something. Well, apparently. it's the entrance... Uh, do you think the entrance is on the gravity plane? Are you asking the uh, rock hopper? Yeah. Uh, no, actually, it is uh, quite a bit above, uh, and it leads into a pool. Uh, it is a shallow cave with a pool. Right, so we land... We land on the asteroid, or dock on the asteroid, on the a on the gravity plane, and then we drop down on ropes through this hole that we can't actually see. Or we, what we do is we land on the complete opposite side of the asteroid and walk our way around, or not near it, but we walk there. Yeah. Yeah, we could do that. We'd be invisible on the other side. One of the um, younger uh, rock hoppers um, says something to uh, the elder while you're you're discussing this. Uh, and they have a, a short conversation. Uh, and he, the elder turns back to you and says, uh, My young friend here says that there was a cave on the far side, uh, a small cave. He has... Uh, uh, not been there in uh, a number of years, though. I don't know if that he, might be helpful to you. Does he know how to find it? Mm, he tar turns to his uh, companion. They have a, another short conversation. Uh, n no, it has been a number of years since he has been there, but uh, it was on the far side. We'll take a look. Oh, if we if find I can, it, it could be a potential can... entrance. If he can give me a general direction of where it might be, I can probably find it myself. I mean, it's on the far side. It's not a terribly big asteroid that you're looking at. Uh, uh, Brax is going to ask the shaman, uh, could you ask your young friend um, if he knows whether the cave was connected to the other cave from inside? He didn't go in. He didn't go in. Okay. Thank okay. you. Well, it's something to check out before we go rappelling into the main mouth of the cave. Uh, to be uh, a little bit clearer, the um, the entrance that they were talking about is not like on top. It's on the side, but it's above the gravity plane. So there's a kind of a sheer side to the uh, um, the asteroid, as opposed to coming down, sloping down to the the gravity plane. And this cave is above the gravity plane itself. So you wouldn't be so, repelling down into it. Huh. So th think of it as like a, a, a cave in a cliffside. Mm -hmm. You'd be repelling down to the cave entrance and then climbing in through there. Yeah. Uh, or climbing up from the gravity plane. Do you think we should try it? Uh, this little cave? Yeah, I, I think that the way. back, that was a, ba a back entrance. If there's a back entrance, we should take it. Yeah, the pirates may not know about it. Uh, are these uh, asteroids small enough that we'd be able to make this trek in reasonable time if we were to take the little cave? Um, what do you mean? So, we need to get to this... Uh, pirates base, right? Yeah. Is it going to take us like a day, two days oh. to get through this cave to get to where the, the base is? Assuming it goes all the way through. The asteroid. These asteroids are generally like no more than about half a mile in any given dire dimension. <laughs> okay. Maybe maybe getting up to a mile somewhere in there. Um, they're not. You know, they're, they're not tens of miles in size. We're not dealing with, like, a series or anything like that. No. They're, like, like the lowest, the smallest class possible of an asteroid, basically, from the sounds of it. Maybe even smaller. Do you guys want to go try to find that cave? That little cave? 
Yeah, yeah just, I'll go. Yeah. I'll go try to find that cave. Okay. Um, you can find a uh, a, a spot um, on the other side of the uh, uh, asteroid um, that I mean, th there's nothing to really disguise your ship, but um, you think it would not be visible from uh, anything leaving the other side of of the the ship, uh, the cave, uh, the asteroid. One of these days, I'll get my words right. That sounds perfect. Okay. Um, I assume uh, Norferic is going to be uh, ready on the helm, so he's going to stay on the helm. Um, your crew is going to be, you know, ready, keeping an eye out, ready to defend it. Uh, do you want to give them any special instructions on what to do if something happens? Other than be ready to leave in a moment's notice, no. I don't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't uh, think so. That and, uh... Should we ask them to uh, try prevent anything from escaping? Mm. Question is, if we, we need, yeah, if we get stranded here, now obviously our ship gets stuck. How much food do we carry with us? Like you guys going into this cave? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, I was just wondering if we should take provisions just in case we're stuck here for a while. I don't think we're going to get stuck unless the crew leaves without us, and I don't think yeah. that's likely. Let's uh, let's give the uh, let's give the ship's crew instructions to send a runner to alert us if they see any ships. Do we want that, or would you want them ready to uh, stop anything from exiting that hole, like laying wait and? Anything that tries to leave that other hole where the ship was coming in and out of to try to stop them. I believe they'd have to take off to do that. Yeah, we won't. I don't think that'd be a good idea because I don't think they'll be able to handle it by themselves. Let's let's explore this cave, see if it looks like it might pass through and lead us to the other cave. Otherwise, we're going to have to go to that uh, that first cave anyway, the hidden one. All right, very well. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you're basically just gonna tell them to, well, all right. I'm I'm not sure exactly what you've you've told them. Are they just standing pat, even if a ship comes, or what? Uh, they're <laughs> standing there, but if they see the giant scaver ship, send somebody to alert us and engage. No, not engage. To if we engage, we can't target. get on the ship. Yeah. Okay, so just send a runner to get you. Yeah, yeah, to alert us. That's all we can do until we get back. Okay. Mm -hmm. If it gets attacked, it'll, we'll obviously tell them to defend themselves, not to sit there. Okay. All right. All right, so you uh, exit your ship, and um, I'm going to need a tracking roll from you, Yeldon. See if you can find this. Uh... I believe it has penalties because it's not a force. It's a natural area, though. I don't think it matters. Yeah, I know, but it, 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 the, I know uh, the reason why half tracking in the first place is because it's for my favorite terrain, and my favorite terrain is a forest. All right, we'll go ahead and, and roll. I'll I'll take a look. I mean, to a certain extent, it doesn't matter based on the actual die roll right now, so... Uh, let's see... Okay, you needed a 16. And he rolled a 15. All right, give me just a second. Oh, uh, what level are you? Four. 
Alright, that's actually a 17. You get plus one for every three levels that uh, you gain. Okay. Completely forgot that. I uh, didn't, I missed that. When attempting these actions in non-natural surroundings, uh, the chance of success is halved, so... But it is a natural surrounding. Right. So I am going to go with that. Um, okay. I'm not too worried about it. All right. Um, it takes a little bit, but uh, you do find the uh, the cave entrance. Um, it is small. You know, just barely large enough for uh, you guys to get in. Uh, although it does widen out. Um, you know, shortly, uh, you know, a little ways in. However, there is a, uh, uh, a door, uh, and it looks fairly new, um, a short ways in. Mm. Uh, this, this door is, uh, wood. Um, there does appear to be, a, a slot near the top, um, large enough for some sort of small animal to get in or out. Um, you know, a bird, large insect, that sort of thing. Or cannon. <laughs> hmm. There's the other standard but, uh, stuff. I'll, Doorknob, I'll, after I, lock. After I look at it, I was like, fuck. Uh, I, I'm, I, oh, sorry. Um, damn. Uh, there's I uh, turn back and I go and I report back to people, everybody, and say, well, they know it's there because there's a freaking new door there. Well, it may not be as as guarded as the front entrance, so it's still a good way to enter. And if it's locked, uh, we could try to find a way to open it. There's probably somebody on the other side of that door, too. If somebody's on the other side, then we'll just take care of them. They're pirates. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Well, keep in mind that you uh, didn't tell me that you were moving silently. <laughs> we're traveling as a group. We're not going to be able to. So. Well, no, I, but I hear. Uh, I I assumed that uh, Yeldon oh. went found this and then is reporting back to you guys. Yeah. Well, I didn't think I went like all the way into the cave. I like went into the cave a bit and saw the door and then had ba went back out. Right, right, and it wasn't very deep in the cave. And the slot didn't open. I didn't hear the slot open at all or anything. It, but it was an blocked. open slot. It, it's it wasn't like a. You know, it was like a, oh. a window or something like that. But it was a little bit above your head height. It was up at the top. Slot was open already. Interesting. Well, be sure to mention that and say that I think Tanning could probably fit to that. Take give with. someone to give a boost up so they can look through first. Yep. Uh, did you bring your spyglass, Hikamus? Perhaps if one of us crawls around the corner, uh, we can look through the slot, see if uh, it looks like there's anyone on the other side. We can see if there's activity, lights, or anything like that. Uh, spyglass would be on the ship. True. Doesn't mean he couldn't have picked, took it with him. Well, if he if he just said that he it was on the ship, then he didn't bring it with him. I have a yeah, I, ship. Yeah, I've got my I got stumps to list to storage because otherwise I'd be overburdened all the time. <laughs> right, left door. Do you want to take a look at this door, or I can have a look? See yeah, if, if someone gives me a piece of look, I, I I want to look through, see what's on the other side. If someone boosts me up, I'll look through the slot. I, I can you. give you or, or we could send Tannen to the plot. If, because well, if something's on the other side, it will kill Tannen. We do not want the familiar to get killed. True, I'm only but... looking through. I'm not doing anything else yet. So I'm going to. I can add to the boost for uh, Lasso. Yeah, I'm just gonna look through. That's all I'm doing. Okay, so I'll uh... go give him boost. So I suggest through. I suggest I do that, and we both me and Last will move silently to the door. Can you boost him up? What's your strength like? Doesn't take that much. He's just got to put his hands together. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's my strength. He, he should be able to carry someone his well, boost someone his own weight for a little while. Yeah. 
Okay, then. Yeah, you two should probably go. I'd make a lot of noise with my armor. Okay, so you guys are going to move silently. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I've only got 30, though. <laughs> this one skill part I don't put invest in. My move silently is uh, 28%. All right, go for it. I'll go ahead and roll. I was tempted to use... I, I'm Before you announce that, I'm just going to say this, this is going to be slightly out of character. I was tempted to use Silence Radius, just so we could have a silent approach, but then I wouldn't have it for combat. Yeah. All right. Um, so you two get to the door. Uh, you don't know if you were silent or not, um, you know, to anyone who might be on the other side of the door. Uh you get there, Yeldon goes ahead and cups his hands together and boosts you up so that you can look through um, uh, Do I have enough rifle. Do I have enough room to maneuver a shield? Can I have like one hand on the door, the other hand on my shield that I could just like raise in front of my face? <laughs> Not really. Alright, I'm going to have to Risk it for a biscuit. All right, I, I, I attempt to look through. <laughs> okay, you see a very long corridor, uh, and there appear to be lights at uh, infrequent intervals, and you see no creatures moving around. Any object, anything near the door, anything that looks barring the door, traps, anything? Um, On the other side. Well, you can't stick your head through it. Now. Um, I've got a hand mirror. I could like try and get a reflected light inside of it. No. All right. You could try if you want. I'll let you try it if that's what you want to do. Uh, well, if there's I... nobody there, I suggest that we bring the rest of the party and try to get to the door. I am him through the door to scout out the base ahead of us. Oh, I got bleeding. Oh, I'll just get down. Okay. Call the party over then. Okay. Um, right. You go back well, to the party and inform them that uh, there's a corridor beyond, and it looks clear from as far as you can tell. This seems like our best entrance. Then uh, is the door locked? I haven't tried it yet. We didn't try it at the door, but it's most likely it is if there's nobody guarding it. Okay, let's head up, and you try the door. It is if any sort of alarm. I'm going to see if it's trapped. Yeah, make sure it's not trapped first. We don't if want it's an unguarded door, it's going to be trapped. Surprise. What? Uh, what's your score? Seventy-five. I. Oh. As far as you can tell, there's no traps. <laughs> As far as I can tell, there's no traps on this door. It looks perfectly safe. <laughs> All right. Then give it a shot. I, 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 I confidently grab hold of the handle when I twist it. <laughs> See if it's locked. Well, it is locked. I think I said that it was locked. Oh, I, 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 I attempt to unlock. Okay. 75 as well. Uh, well, you can go ahead and roll that, actually. Uh, what's the... I'll just do it like this. Because you'll know. Roll D one hundred. Yeah, you'll you'll yeah. know if you fail or not. Fifty five's pass. Okay. Uh, you hear the uh snick of the uh tumbler moving, and you're able to twist the lock and push the door open. However, it does squeak a bit. Have we got any oil? I did. Or is it too late. Yeah. If it's how much has it squeaked by the time I've opened it? Do I stop? Uh, it squeaked enough that all of you can hear. You don't know how much it echoed down the uh, corridors. Yeah, if it's a corridor, it's going to echo. Well, there goes the element of surprise. How much of a squeak, though? How far the how far is the door ajar? Because I've got oil on me to prevent any further squeaking. Okay, Braxton's going to quietly uh, pace up to the first doorway and be ready to clobber anyone who comes through it with his mace. All right, well, uh, you didn't say uh, that you were slowly opening it just a little bit, right, so, so you open it all now. the way. It's all the way open. All By right. base, you mean Warhammer? Yeah, sorry, Warhammer. Magic Warhammer. <laughs> TM. Yeah, I'm gonna follow after you with my longsword ready. Alright, uh, let me let me go ahead and get the uh, 
character order. I should be uh, clear that there is at this point ample space for uh, Higamous. Uh, the the ceiling is high enough, it's wide enough, but you're still going to be going down this uh, basically single file. Oh, so this place was made for Gif. In mind. Possibly, but we don't know that for sure. So what's what's the order? I want to know who's going to oh. take I'm going to go second. Brax is going straight in, get into the first doorway, so that if anyone comes out of it, he's going to clobber them. I'll carry going with Braxton. I'm going to go behind, in front of the mage, but not last. But I will go last. last. I will go last, looking behind us. Jacobus? Uh, somewhere in there. Doesn't matter to me. Then Leva. My bow well, no one can out. act. I've had good experiences hiding behind uh, Hikimus. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Yeldon, you said that you were going to go in front of the uh, in front of Leva, right? Yeah, I'm going in front of Leva for sure, but not. I'm not, and my bow's out, re ready to shoot at anything. So we got Braxton, then Arkar, then Hikimus, then Yeldon, then Leva, then Laftal. Yeah. And TM. Oh, if Town. I'll, I'll go if Higamis is in front of me. I'll go in front of Higamis because Higamis is too big to shoot around. Yeah. All right, is that okay with you, Higamis? Yeah, that's fine. All right. I have a feeling that Laftal is our Sir Robin. laftal has got his bow out and he's looking behind. <laughs> There's, a, there's no. Uh... I'll ask Lava if she's willing to use Tannin to scout the all the the rooms on either side of the hallway. Well, there are so no rooms you can see right now. Oh, well, I no will room. mention, we've had running with traps in narrow corridors. Yeah. I won't be able to do anything with traps if I'm at the back. I'm just this just a point of call. We won't I get out the ten foot pole and hand it to Braxton. Or we, we have some, I imagine. Well, I think Higamus bought one. I don't know if he brought yeah. it with him. It, Higamus <laughs> would have, should bring it with him and all that he'd bring. What? You just want to see this mage look, looking on the scarring grass, like looking at this in, <laughs> invent this invading party with a giant pole. I said, like, what are they doing? <laughs> All right, well, uh, we've got the uh, order. You're uh, in a long corridor. Uh, there are some uh, small uh, lights along it. Uh, they appear to be continual light. You don't see any flames or anything like that, so uh, it's a best guess that that's continual light. Um, and uh, we're going to take our break here. When we come back, we're heading into... Uh, Maybe the pirate's den? Maybe? We'll have to find out. Alright, so uh, we'll be back in about 10 minutes. So about uh, 10 minutes, 10 past. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Alright, be right, right back. Good. See you shortly. <laughs>